But just a quick reminder for the Chargers short week, they got the Raiders on Thursday. Both teams coming off impressive wins today. Yeah, and they were talking about the run game there, Melvin Gordon. You're talking about having fresh legs. Right. Who is a real Melvin Gordon? Because we've seen when he got back, we all expected, oh, I might take a little while to get him going. Right. It's taken him a long time. And their no, running no, listen, game in general has not been great. M Melvin Gordon can play. This whole team has struggled. And obviously when you're coming off of, of, of resting at home or of training at home and you haven't been in training camp, it takes a while to get acclimated. You also have to understand they were playing Austin Eckler and he was playing well. So he can't just jump right back in and get all the touches that he's used to getting. It's going to take time to get back acclimated to playing football and being in football shape. And – we saw today that he was able to score on some easy runs from, you know, from, from the goal line area, but he still needs to do more. He still needs to be more involved if he wants to be the Melvin Gordon that gets the Ezekiel Elliott, Todd Gurley, Le'Veon Bell money, which he was asking for. He's a good player, not a great player. I mean, I think that's – he's not the guys that Ryan just mentioned. I mean, he's, he's not, which is why – He doesn't have the money. Have <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the money. It's, true. Right. it's also why, quite honestly, they've been as productive with Austin Eckler. I mean, mm -hmm. that's just – that's how they've been. So I, I think, you know, yes, you know, who is he? I mean, I think he's a good player. He's starting tailback in, in the yeah. National Football League. But I don't believe that he's in the same class as those other, those other backs. And so when that's the case, you know, oftentimes you need it to be blocked a little bit better than some of those mm -hmm. other guys do. Real quick, just thoughts on Rodgers. I know it's kind of an atypical game. Well, yeah, well, your, your thoughts on Rodgers, it's fine. I think from the beginning of this season, we've made a little bit too much of this Matt LaFleur, Aaron Rodgers relationship because from a – offensive standpoint schematically they're not doing things we've never seen we're just watching him make throws that only Aaron Rodgers has made this year and so he didn't have that type of day he wasn't comfortable in the pocket which I think he said in the post-game interview and this if you pressure any quarterback if you get in his face and you don't allow him to step up he's not going to be able to complete throws he's not going to be as accurate as he's used to being and that's what we saw from this team today and I believe some of the some of the lack in talent on the outside, some of the injuries they've suffered showed up a little bit because of that rush. Yeah, they're playing young guys at receiver. They're playing guys that weren't going to be starters. I mean, let's face it, that's who they're playing. And I think, they're pulling people off the practice squad, bro. And I think <laughs> that his post-game comments, I don't know this, but I'm reading into it as we are watching that, was kind of was addressing that a little bit. You're like, hey, our focus wasn't there. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was the travel, it was the trip, or that kind of thing. If you live in Green Bay and it's been 20 degrees, okay? <laughs> right. all right? right? You got daylight savings. <laughs> that day's going to feel real short, okay? And all of a sudden, you, you know, you're out in California. Like, maybe the focus wasn't there. And it, it's surprising to see Aaron Rodgers throw for 161 yeah. yards. I mean, that's, yeah. that's surprising, but I think – you know, especially coming off of, you know, how they looked a week ago. The other ago. part is this, though. When you've played as well as Aaron Rodgers has played, right, you've won two big games back-to-back -back the way that they have, you start to feel really good about yourself. And you're playing a Los Angeles Chargers team that just finds different ways to lose every week, whether it's missed kicks, not right. scoring on the goal line, no. turning the ball over. They figure it out. And so you kind of get out to L.A. and you're like, you know what, man, we can go hit the right spot. We can go to crustaceans, right? And we can get some of that, some of that crab that they're going to peel out of the shell for us with some of those noodles. We can do some things. Right. We can go to the eye pick. They don't have one of those in Wisconsin. So we can do some things that we don't normally do because this team isn't playing well, and we are. And so we saw some of that show up today. And Matt LaFleur talked about, it. He said, you know, this was a playoff team from a year ago. They have lost some close games. I, I do think there is an element of the Chargers being probably a little bit better than their record indicates. That's so fair. Sunday for the Packers, not good. But Saturday, it sounds like it was awesome for the Packers. They must have had a I mean, great time on Saturday. You know something? There's probably some truth. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. We'll see you there.